What are you going to say now? Uh, I should have stuck up for you when she I said bet. you should be in jail. Whatever she said, both of you guys would be like. Really? Because all of a sudden you're a weak bitch who can't defend yourself? Hey, I can stick up for myself. I don't want to bring you into a show. I don't give a it's a joke. Well, no, but I, this is what I don't want. The biggest OMG moment from last night's episode was that the calm before the storm has officially passed between Teresa and Melissa this season. We know they get into it a lot, but last night they kicked it off highest gear possible and left nothing on the table, literally. Just stuck up for your ex-husband when we were defending you. Yes. What the yes. is wrong with you? Yeah. You're a yeah. sick yeah. Okay. bitch. All right. On top of that, Joe Gorga got so involved and so emotional, talking about how he's so pissed off that Teresa wanted an apology for how he treated Joe Giudici when he said that he's the reason, Juice Joe is the reason that he lost time with his sister, facts, and that he put their mother in a grave. Ooh, that had to hurt Teresa because how could it not? Okay. Okay. I don't want to stop it. Just go. go. I don't want to hear it. That piece of he put my mother in a f***ing grave. So I'm supposed to f***ing like him? You f***ing understand that? It is kind of funny because the drama that we were all watching this episode for, Teresa versus Jackie, was the calmest one. Everyone was telling Teresa to be calm and be nice when Evan came to town. Luckily, Dolores was able to talk some sense in Teresa along with everybody else talking sense into her, that her and Jackie just speak different languages. Thankfully, Duolingo, I guess, exists in the Jersey Shore they were able to brush up on each other's and me in the middle for um, what me and Margaret Joseph agree is the weakest apology of all time. Just, I'm happy you're here. Um, yeah, sorry yeah. about like, you know, like everything that went down and I would never want, want to do anything to hurt you guys in any way. That was one of the weakest apologies I've ever seen. So while everyone was having their post-margarita, post-boat lunch, uh, Jennifer and Margaret decided to rehash last night's uh, fight, which uh, did not go well for anybody involved. Uh, Margaret got mad at Jennifer for getting involved. Jennifer didn't like the way Margaret talked to her husband. And then basically it escalated to the point where, uh, <laughs> Spark Notes edition, Margaret called Jennifer a sloppy drunk. We all remember the tequila. I think you were a sloppy drunk. That's the way you want to behave, and you think that's upstanding behavior? You've told us sloppy moments that you've had. You slept with your boss. You're such a douchebag. You know why you never fight with your husband? Because he's your meal ticket for your whole family. And while uh, I feel no one was going to be able to sleep that well uh, last night, and if you're like me and you get so stressed out about uh, watching Bravo, Teresa did open up. <laughs> about what helps her fall asleep. I've been having trouble sleeping and the vibrator helps me go to sleep. 